Okay, I'm Craig Ship, and my main website is craigship.com, but I develop a lot of websites, and my primary focus is local portal websites, or what we call community websites. And for a community website to truly be a community website, it needs to be an open local portal. It needs to have a brand name that the locals can relate to. For example, for Frederick County, Maryland, USA, we have frederick.com. You go to frederick.com and you learn all about the area. People can join as a member and they can submit their own content onto the site. So they can interact with the site all at no cost. They can put events on the events calendar. If their church is having a fundraiser, for example, they can put it on the calendar. There are many, many resources on the internet that people can use. I think one of the most valuable resources going forward will be these local community portal websites where they're really focused on local information. We have a business directory that's all the best owner-operator businesses, businesses that are normally hard to find even on the internet. We have a directory where business owners can go in and actually add their own business. Then they can upgrade to become a sponsor if they choose to and get even more visibility in the site. And on the Frederick site, many hundreds of businesses have chosen to do just that. But they can get in with a name, address, and phone number just for free. So these are open community portal websites and the main website to go to to find links to all of the site is areaguides.com. Now, craigship.com, my website. I'm all about educating and helping people use the Internet to their best benefit, um, whether they be a private individual that wants to build their own brand and wants to eventually build their own business online. I have a lot of tips and tricks and things that they can do to, to try to do that. The internet is an opportunity like none other. Like we've never had this, this opportunity before. Many years ago, in order to establish a brand, big companies would go in and hire advertising agencies and pay a lot of money to come up with a brand name and to establish that brand name and to promote that brand name. Now an individual can establish their own brand on the internet and promote it and really do well with it. Um, that's a double-edged sword, though, because this, uh, w this allows everybody to do just that. And so there's a lot of competition. So how do you stand out above the competition? How do you do a better job at branding? How do you do a better job at creating content? How do you create content on a budget? How do you create content without spending a lot of money? How do you get it up on the Internet, get it distributed? If you're a business, how do you really get your message out there? How do you interact with clients, with, with uh, potential clients? How do you address their issues? How do you do all of these things more efficiently than ever before? That's the big question. These tools, all of these techniques have been around for many, many years. Businesses have always wanted to interact with their customers, but now they have more tools. They have more ways of doing it. Are business owners leveraging Facebook properly? Are they using Twitter properly? Do they have a brand name locked down on all of these platforms? Did they even think about their brand as far as the way it relates to online before they established that brand? Should a business owner think about changing their brand name completely so that it's internet friendly? These are, these are all the questions I think that business owners and those establishing businesses should think about in this day and age. And content creators, creatives, singers. Um, we, we have a show we just started called Pageant Live that's all about the pageant uh, industry. Uh, that's big business. Um, a lot of these contestants go on to get scholarships for college, pay for all of their college and so forth by competing in these uh, local pageants. And they learn a lot along the way. Uh, they develop their skills and their talent. Some of them go on to become actresses, models. Some of them go on to be TV anchors. Um, so, but, but we need to think about how all this relates to the internet and what tools can I use to achieve whatever goals I've outlined for myself and what are those goals and so these are the kinds of things that that I like to talk about with sponsors and help them with and and we're not talking about SEO uh, snake oil and all these things you see flooding your inbox and, and so forth that that really most are not very helpful what we're talking about is proven common sense tools that you can use on the internet 
and ways you can do these things efficiently. Everybody can do it. Can they do it efficiently? Can they get that task done rapidly and can they get it done so it's, it's of some real benefit? A lot of people out there spinning their wheels on the internet and spending a lot of time on Facebook, for example, which is a walled garden, which is may not even be here in five years. Um, don't invest all your time, but don't put all your eggs in one basket, the old saying goes, right? So if you're spending two hours a night on the internet, don't allocate all those two hours to Facebook. Spend some time on Twitter, spend some time on Google Plus, spend some time on the local portal websites for your area, developing relationships there. We really invented social media with the Area Guides Network. We started doing it in 1996. We've been doing, quote, social media. It's really, it's really just local information. It's a way for people to interact locally. That's social, right? Um, I think that term social media is, is, is way overused anyway. Um, the internet is all about getting information, connecting with people, finding answers to questions, leveraging information. The internet is a huge lever, and if it's used properly, it can be very powerful. So these are just some, some seeds to think about, and please visit my website, craigship.com, as frequently as you wish. Visit my blog, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash craigship, and let's connect on Google+. Let's connect and, and let's make some things happen on the internet. It's an exciting time. There are The opportunities are just unbelievable, mind-boggling. Just the ability to shoot this video right now and with a two-camera setup with my uh, Zoom recording the audio right here and be able to take this in Final Cut Pro 10 and sync these three up and create a video like about that fast, a multi-camera video, and then get it up on the internet, just being able to do that is amazing, if you think about it. What would it have cost 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, to do something like this? First of all, you couldn't even produce a high definition video. High definition wasn't even the standard back then. So the TV we watched for many, many years was 480p. Now we're at 1080p. So this is the progress that we're making, and it's exciting times all the way around. So let's connect. Let's make some things happen on the Internet. I'm Craig Ship, and my website is craigship.com. Thanks.